Hey guys, what's up? Hitmarthur right here, and welcome back to Let's Play Mario Party 8. In the last episode, we defeated Mario at King Boo's Haunted Hideaway, like he'd beat us on our own turf. And in this episode, we're going to be facing Dry Bones on Shy Guy's Perplex Express. So, there's cash all over the place. This one functions a lot like uh, Goomba's Booty Boardwalk. There's one star, and it costs 50 coins, and you have to give it to Holly Koopa. Yeah, I know. So you can get coins from space on the ground. If you reach the front of the train, Shy Guy will be there right here. Uh, if you get to there, he'll give you 10 coins. Kind of like how Captain Goomba would give you 1, 5, or 10 if you got to him but didn't have enough to afford the star. And I just barely rolled a high enough number to be able to go first. And Holly Coop is about halfway on the train. Keep in mind, the train is not normally this long, so two cars is about halfway. Let's jump right on in. Yay, what a great start. Now, keep in mind, uh, there are two people that you actually want to keep uh, an idea of where they are and what car that mouse right there, and also the bandit, which is that guy over there, the guy in the blue. Make sure you know where they are, because at some point, if you're on the top of the train and you land on one of the green spaces, you will actually have to guess where they are, and if you guess correctly, he'll give you 10 or 20 coins, Shy Guy will. The other thing that can happen is also the question mark spaces in or outside of the car, depending on what it is. It can also take the car that's closest to uh, Shy Guy at the front of the train and move it to the back. There are some other question mark spaces. That green one that's in the kitchen will either take you up the chute to the top of the car or down through the chute into the bottom of the car. Yeah, I know. We don't have 50 coins. We have 17. Actually, we have 27. All right. Oh, I almost landed on... Well, actually, landing on the DK space would have been bad at this point. Uh, the DK and Bowser space is on this board. If you land on the DK space, the Shy Guy train will be replaced with DK's train. And normally, he'll give you a star for free. On this board, I'm going to guess he just gives you 20 coins or a pretty big amount of coins. Uh, after that, I'll switch to Bowser. If you land on the Bowser, the Shy Guy train will be replaced with, uh, obviously, a Bowser train. And if you run into Bowser on the normal board, he will steal a star. If you don't have a star, he'll actually give you 10 coins. Uh, as for this board, I'm just going to guess he takes away coins. But now let's play another dual minigame. Ooh, I like this one. Frozen Assets. You know, Frozen Assets. You might as well read the rules first. Punch and kick icicles to collect gems inside. The first to collect five is the winner. Hit when the freezy falls, the icicle shock will cause many icicles to fall. Pounce on them. Hold sideways, and then you can move, jump, punch, ground pound, and kick. This is actually a really good strategy to facing CPUs, because they mess themselves up quite easily on this sometimes. So you do want to punch the icicles. Never kick the icicles. The icicles have an HP of 1 if you're going by Fire Emblem turns, so anything will actually kill it. Yeah, sometimes the CPU will be kind of stupid though, and they'll stand there. And so you can actually ground pound them. But it doesn't look like Dry Bones is that stupid. There we go. And see, they kind of get stuck like that for a second. Got it. And yeah, first to five wins. Where's Dry Bones? Oh, there he is. Oh well. He's a dead skeleton. He'll have no nerves, so he won't feel that cold. Of course, neither would Boo, but you know. 
All right, come on, Granny needs a new pair of shoes. Dang it! I knew I threw that thing too early. Oh well. Maybe I can get a one. Nope. Oh well. I'll take a nine too. Whenever you're playing the versus mode of this board, it's not that long. On the regular board, I believe there's five or six cars. There's only three on the versus. Because as I said before, they're all condensed. Yeah, here's that space where you have to figure out which one is where. This is actually pretty easy. So he'll say our only suspect is and it'll be either Mouse or Bandit. In this case, it's Mouse. Mouse is not in the kitchen car. You can see Bandit in that car, actually. Yeah, he's in that car. He's not in the kitchen. He was in the other green car. It's kind of funny for... That'd be kind of funny if Bandit actually hid in the car that Holly Koopa was in. So he didn't go very far. And they will change afterwards, I believe. Oh, no, he's still there. Maybe it's on a, the normal board. And I try not to buy candy too much on this one because uh, you have to have 50 coins, and it's pretty easy to loop back around, so I try not to buy any candy. If there's, if I need candy, I'll just, you know, go around on the track, and eventually you'll find one. And that actually put me at a disadvantage because now i got to go through the other two cars to reach Shy Guy. Sometimes that can actually be a big advantage, like, if uh, you're standing right where I am and the next car up has Bowser in it, and you land on that space and it takes you back to the end, you may not be the one to get Bowser. Because after somebody reaches DK or Bowser, the effect wears off. You can only do it once. And it's just first come, first serve, you know. Another versus. Maybe I'll be more lucky at hitting the dart wheel I'm supposed to if I win. on something good shake it up oh this one's easy I used to give this one to my uh, cousin Andrew because he was a drummer back in the day shake your can of soda pop after five seconds everyone will open their cans make your can spew highest don't get too crazy when shaking your can small better fast small fast shakes do the trick better than big ones <laughs> yes if anybody holds the Wii remote like that that just that looks really creepy Just do it like you're doing the drums really, really fast, and you'll get this every time. Go! See what I mean? Easily won that. Victorious! And now we'll celebrate with a can of Big Blue. Because that's the only blue soda I can think of right now. Obviously, big red for red. There's a lot of red sodas. There's a couple of yellow ones. I don't know any green ones off the top of my head, but I'm sure there is one. Ah, did it too late. At least I got five instead of one, though. I'll take five. Oi. One. What the heck's that, man? What the heck was that? Star Fox. Yeah, obviously he doesn't have 50 coins. He doesn't even have half of that. Okay, well now he does. Thrice can do you. Shy Guy is so awesome. That poor the Shy Guy, he doesn't get any screen time. He's just sitting there on that chair. Just, you know, like, why won't they include me? Yes! Good job, Dry Bones. You might have just made sure I won this. Oh, yeah! Yeah, you'll make a big profit. Okay, so he just gives you a lot of money and Bowser will take it away. Let's do this! 
Seven, alright. That might be enough. Actually, I think that's one square short. Yeah, it is. But at least we get a challenge minigame. That's always good. I'll take that. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Which minigame will we play tonight? Even though it's 12.06 in the afternoon. It's the furthest thing away from night. Okay, we've seen port of score already, so I'm not going to go over the rules. Don't worry, I'll only be going over rules of games once. After that, it's like, yeah. But if the CPU does it first and then I do it, I will be going over the rules because the CPUs don't bother to read. Because, you know, who reads? That was an easy one because the target score is extremely low. Usually it's in, like, the around 150 or sometimes it's even, like, up to 300 almost. That's a very low target score. Now throw a dart! Oh, it's your head? Sure, here. Have a dart. Yeah, there we go. That was right on time. That was right between the two and the zero. Beautiful. Simply beautiful. And now it'll probably say, let's check the standings after this turn. Since Dry Bones moves second, he was the second on the turn list. So after this it'll say, let's look at the standings. Yay, another versus! At least we're unlocking these, you know. And hopefully I'll get 5 or 10 coins, because if Dry Bones gets the dart wheel and he gets a 20, then I might actually lose, because he'll have 55. And we have pumper cars. Oh, great. The minigame that I'm not good at. Somebody gave me a tip on this yesterday. Maybe I'll actually be able to put it to use. Pump your handcart lever to get your vehicle to the finish line first. Pump up and down as quickly as you can. Small but certain hand motions work better than over dramatic ones. You do have to hold down A and 1. You don't have to actually tap them. It says hold down A and 1 and move the Wii remote up and down to operate the lever. I'm pretty sure you have to hold that out. Like, whenever I do this on test for the best, which is like... Um, a 10 minigame thing where you try to get the best score possible. I always get like a D on this one. Finish! I mean, it's easy to beat the CPUs, but I just never get a good score on that one. Not sure why. Oh well. Dirt wheel. Yes, the one number I wanted to hit, and I got it. Thank you. Now, if he gets 20 coins, he still won't be able to afford the star. And yeah, I got more than enough. And since I'm probably gonna pass DK next turn unless he lands on Bowser. I mean, I have even more money. This is crazy. I'm just gonna have a lot of money. Bolo or... Well, the Bolo wouldn't do him much good, but he didn't get anything. Really, 20 coins would have been the only thing he would have aimed for. Because I'm not near him at all, so... Every time we've been playing this so far, the C most of the time the CPU hasn't gotten anything. I mean, Goomba's Booty Boardwalk is the only time that the CPU's gotten a bonus, I think. And I'm actually going to buy a Thrice Candy if they have it, because I got more than enough. And they do, so I will take that. Normally I would not advise buying candy, but you know, in this case, I'm so... over... over something. Over something moneyed. Over moneyed. I mean, look at that. I just got 53 coins. They just doubled how much I had. I have 106 coins. I got 106 coins, man. I could buy two stars and still have stuff left over. That is unheard of. So I guess Bowser just takes away half? And that doesn't really help me, but whatever. If I had been on that card, it would have been helpful, but I'm not. So, oh well. I love how everybody inside the car is just perfectly calm. Like, nobody even considers, like, you know, why they're in the middle of the sky. 
You know, why are we landing in the middle of the ocean? Oh, no we're not. Why are we landing in the middle of the ocean? Oh, no we're not. Why are we landing in the middle? No. I'm not going over that over and over. Bowser! Hello, Bowser. Yeah, well, Dry Bones is closer to Bowser than I am, so that actually messed him up. And since Holly Koopa's before Bowser, I can go ahead and still use the... Well, actually, no, that might not be a good idea. Where is Dry Bones on the map? He's right there. Yeah, let's just go ahead and use the rice candy. Hopefully we'll make it there. I don't want to land right in front of him because he'll use the bolo candy, but if he does, I have another bolo candy, so I might be able to just hit him back with it again. Oh, no, wait, he doesn't have the bolo candy. What am I talking about? Jeez, I'm crazy. Yes, three fours. Bonus for more money. Eat it, dry bones. 30 coin bonus. Because, you know, I clearly don't have enough coins right now. is starting to become cointagious. You know, like that Boys Like Girls song. I'm not gonna sing. Sorry. Not in a singy mood. What candy does he? I'm guessing he has a thrice candy, too. That's the only thing I could think that he might have. Yeah, one coin! I'd almost like to not be able to make this roll the Holly Cooper right now, just to watch Dry Bones lose half of his money. Because, you know, I'm not ahead enough, apparently. And sorry about that, my ear was itching horribly. It always stinks when it's my left ear, because, like, I'm wearing a headset and the mic's on the left earpiece, so if it's my right ear that itches, it doesn't even matter, you know? Even if I did try so hard and get so far, it doesn't even matter. In the end. No. I got more than 50 coins. That didn't even put a dent in my wallet. Actually, it did, but, you know, still. Well, we dominated in that challenge by a mile. No pun intended, since we're on a train. Ah, ha, ha. That wasn't funny. But yeah, seriously, we did win by quite a bit. I don't think Drybones had 50 coins at any point ever. Victory! Saving, please do not touch the power button. Oh, I can't do it! And I'm actually going to re record the next episode right after this, so whoever we see on the monitor will be my opponent. Final battle versus Toad Ant. New stage. Two tycoons, one town for the taking. What the heck? We'll be buying in real estate. No, not real estate. Oh, well. See you guys next time. Later.